this this was the week probably where I started like questioning not in like a deep bad way but like questioning why we're doing this yeah me too <laughs> you know? yeah. me too um, i mean just just yeah. so much news and we just before we before i started rolling and we're rolling now i we were talking a little bit about the um the death of kobe bryant and his daughter and that happened today but also as we're fitting these news stories into these rhymes and these little things a hundred people died in an attack in Yemen. And I was like thinking, okay, that's a hundred people. And I'm sitting here like, Yemen, a hundred dead. <laughs> you know, like. Yeah. So, so, and I like, this will just keep coming up for us. You yes. know, like this is an absurd exercise in a way. I don't know that I would be kind um, following the news as I am if we weren't doing this i do think part of the exercise of like being able to check in with what's going on in a given week and also process it and kind of take a look at what the world is and what's going on yes and is good and also it's tough it's tough and i almost tweeted a tweet today saying anybody who works in a job a writing job that um has them sourcing news in order to monologue or make jokes about um must be aware of how many mass shootings are being ignored in the media yeah. like the news cycle is full of you know the iran crisis and everything happening um with the coronavirus and i'm just amazed like thinking back to when like the vegas shooting happened yeah. or like any of these shootings that called for gun control and i i think in my verses i have four mass shootings yeah and it made me i almost wanted to replace like create a new shorthand for my response to a mass shooting which is like ban guns or gun control now as opposed to just naming something mm -hmm. because the act of naming it is in itself like in in the format useful but also like or maybe, or maybe the Billy Joel song is like, I wonder if he felt senseless writing it, you know, because of how much was going on. It's not all sad stuff. It's like, you know, but things like shootings are so, for me, just like so miserable to yeah. think about. Yeah, I, um, I mean, the song is very earnest. It's not detached, you know. There's also, I mean, just listening to the song and looking at the music video, obviously, because mm -hmm. that's an interesting thing that we keep having to probably go back to to listen to the, the cadence and the meter. Um, I just want to bring up, like you mentioned, you know, it, he wasn't desensitized, but it is funny that you have this guy in a dark suit and glasses just standing in the corner of these different households as he names all these things and really never participates in the family thing. Just, like, sits at a desk in front of burning, watches, like, these different as he says, children of thalidomide is like leaning over a kid who's like playing with a toy. So there is this kind of desensitization in the way he behaves in the video. Oh, okay. We're talking about the video. That's, if we're going there. I mean, you know? yeah, I, that, that, um, uh, the video, that could be a whole bonus app, you know, just kind <laughs> yeah. of breaking down this video. Yeah. But yes, it, the, the fact that during some of these lyrics, some of the visuals it's 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 some of them are jarring or just worth noting yeah and just 80s music videos are wild yeah yes i mean <laughs> look i we we start i think when we started to do this or set out to do this i don't think that we were aware of the emotional toll like i yeah. I, I certainly wasn't i think i thought oh great another commitment <laughs> you know weekly writing assignment whatever whatever yeah, whatever. yeah, yeah. but um the thing that recapping it in this way is certainly making me feel which i think you mentioned it's just like that this way of being engaged with the news and trying to process and um everything that comes through is it's a lot and it feels like both worth it and useless <laughs> well because the news is already a lot and i guess when i i thought okay there'll be stuff about impeachment and like the election there'll be all this bickering election stuff which is it's not even been the first primary caucus and that's mm -hmm. definitely happening mm -hmm. um and we have these ongoing kind of stories like the prince harry Meghan markle thing mm -hmm. and the these kind of hamster wheel kind of yeah, stories yeah, you yeah, know yeah. but yeah then the virus outbreaks ongoing 
mass shootings, unexpected tragic events, some things that feel like the edge of wartime kind of mm-hmm. activities. Mm-hmm. Um, that is an exhausting and um, ongoing like environmental and cr- oh, uh, God, climate yes. issues too, which was very in the news as well in a number of different ways, including yeah. like governments and our government's response to it. So it it does... It's definitely absurd to be like, okay, bump, bump, climate, refugees, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you know, <laughs> yes. and like find the right cadence and the right thing. Um, I think the thing that I enjoy in like when I can find a way of putting it that sums up both the thing itself and my feelings about it and like the best possible outcome of it. Like I, I, I don't quite have an example of that in the moment. But maybe as we go through, um, like, just being able to spin a take that sums up the news, but also, like, makes, shows the absurdity of it in a way, I think is the, would for me be, like, the ultimate goal of uh, mastering this format for, like, a 2020 brain. Yeah, putting it, because there is, I'm wondering about these, uh, again, and and part of the exercise is that we take the format seriously. Mm -hmm. So before we jump into, I'm curious if you have any further thoughts about the format, having gone through this another time. And I'm I was more struck this time by some of the verse ending declarations, not just the mm. I can't take it anymore and the what else do I have to mm-hmm. say. We got to get Billy Joel on the show. But I wonder <laughs> at some point when writing this if because we're like, oh, that's the point where he says, what else do I have to say? But was that always the lyric? You know? Oh, interesting. You think he like because that's a commentary. It's a little bit of a right, right, right vague commentary yeah but it it was at some point that not the plan or yeah it's really Um, a break of the format in some kind of way but we're looking at it as the format right right uh i will say so i've started to get a little bit more interested in where I, i think i mentioned this in a previous episode but like where certain news goes not just which news makes for like the better punchline but i think about for example tech news Tech news feels like a second, third line news because it's like big and it's shaping the way that humanity will function and it like we are all engaged in tech, but it's also like not threatening human life in an immediate way, you know, so... Much more slow, insidious, you know. So there's, and I mean, I have the long verse, I think, in this one. Do I? No, not the long verse, but the one that goes ba 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 in the middle. Children with all the couplets, yeah. Yes, verse Um, four. Yeah. No. No. Three. Three. Yeah. And so in that one, uh, I found myself really leaning into like the placement of the news and trying to make sure that the last thing, which I think is Belgians in the Congo in Bill Joel, it was like not nothing. You know, was not was somehow the same format of commentary. Because I think when, at least the way I read, like, Belgians in the Congo is, like, to me it's, like, these two American, like, pieces of news and then this, like, world, like, almost like a, a, a what do you call, like, a crane zoom out of, of like, a camera mm-hmm. just showing, like, these are these little uh, American phenomena and then suddenly we're, like, and meanwhile this other thing's happening, you know? Oh, so I had... That's really interesting. Yeah, so then I found myself trying to pull the right piece of news... That felt like, and I found this piece of news about how Malaysia um, sent back 1.5 billion tons of um, trash, of recycled like uh, trash that was illegally sent to them. It turns out world countries are sending recycling illegally to developing nations, like basically treating them like garbage dumps. And Malaysia was like, we want no part in this. And they sent all of this recycling back to the countries that sent it to them as a sign that like they will not be undermined. And so I was like, talk about a good moment of showing what what our kind of little corner of the world is missing. This sense of like where we're putting all our waste. So that was a good example of how the format spoke to me this week. Mm. Yeah. In verse one, mm-hmm. I think Joe DiMaggio and Marilyn Monroe has to be a uh, rhyme scheme. <gasps> wow. Ba da 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 da. Like it's. Uh... Yeah, I don't think I noticed this until now. Also. Um, Another thing that came up for me in writing uh, was just how I think we've been, we talked a little bit ago about trying to 
make sure that the way that we wrote something, uh, like, conveyed all the thing. Like, mm -hmm. if you just said Yemen, it wouldn't clarify that, yep, what, what was happening in Yemen. Yes. But I just, this week, I really started noticing how much Billy Joel does that all the time. There are so many things that we didn't understand, and they weren't all buzzwords, right? Kennedy? It's like Kennedy was in the news constantly, right? So it's like, what what about Kennedy or something, right? There's one that I was looking at today, Alabama. Yeah, yeah, what the fuck? Just Alabama. <laughs> it's illegal. Is that the Crimson Tide? Is that the uh, just Alabama? So that was my, so it kind of made me feel a little unrest, bit like, like, not indignant, but you know, just like, you know what? We're allowed to do the version of writing a word that may make someone look it up and ask what was going on with that thing then, but why not? Anyway, that's my statement. I'm, I'm with you, 100%. Yeah. yeah. I'm interested to hear once we get a uh, listener base. Mm, once we, yes. When um, we get some feedback about things we're missing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I will if be If that happens. Yeah. If you are listening and we're missing things or there are fomenting stories below and, and or sources for stories, mm -hmm. let us know. By the way, this is Week Didn't Start uh, podcast where we cover the week's news in the classic form of Billy Joel's We Didn't Start the Fire lyrics. Thanks for joining us. <laughs> <laughs> you know what this is. Uh, uh, shall we do it? Shall we yes. jump into this week's? Okay. Yes. All right. So you had Monday... I think I know how this goes. Okay. Pro-gun rally, NVA, Kellyanne on MLK, Space ex Delante, West American, Dirt. Mike Pompeo, Juan Guaido, Ventura, San Antonio, Alopecia, Three Cat Yusha, Outbreak in Wuhan. Bum, 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 bum. Parnas wants Will Barr recused, Puerto Rico aid unused, Van Gogh side eye, Google boss scared of AI, Times, Times endorses two in race, camouflage in outer space, kill switch, midnight bitch, Harry misses Mumsy. We didn't start the fire. Okay. All right, Tuesday. Chris Collins, Katie Sowers, long impeachment trial hours, Eli Manning, Michoustin protesting, Lebanese. Terry Jones, Guantanamo, Greta Tiet Davos, Senate blocks evidence, climate refugees. Social insecurity, Dolly Parton, Tinder meme, record snow in Newfoundland, Rutgers first black president, Iraq, prote Iraq protest, Flint water suit. Yes, I am in attack, 100 dead, pressure on Vasquez. <laughs> okay, Wednesday. Spaceway One, Juice World, Airbus, Flu, Pill, Weinstein Statements, Bezos Hack, Grecians Want Their Islands Back, Coronavirus, Death, Toll, America Needs Gun Control, Ancient Sweat Lodge, uh, Ancient Sweat Lodge, Gritty Fan, Trump Extending, Travel Ban, ba 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 da 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 And then it goes back to the regular. Petty fogging deep space, Lamb of God has nightmare face, walking sharks, Sonos, Mr. Peanut, now a ghost, no conversion in UT, fears of tourist pregnancy, Gabbard suing Clinton, trash sent from Malaysia. Thursday. Adam Schiff, Jim Lehrer, Iowa, margin of error, water safety down the chute, Tulsi Files, Clinton suit, panic app for Tinder dates, federal highway funds debate, animals on airlines, Hallmark CEO resigns, crying Nazi nabbed by feds, Russian satirist has fled, pregnant women turned away, what else do I have to say? Right, that's the first four. First four. We write one more based on the weekend. Um, okay, so we're going to write verse five. Yes. And it's, Did you have any other questions, by the way, about oh, anything right. else Oh, right. Oh, sorry, get? sorry. No. No. Okay, no. Wait. Anything. What? Not in, wait, let me see in your other verse. Um, oh, Lamb of God has nightmare face. <laughs> oh, my God. Do you know about this? No. Oh, my God. This, I, I have to tell you, like, when you're deep searching and you find the, like, good piece of weird news that, so, in Ghent there was this uh, famous, like, biblical painting that was restored. And when it was restored, people were horrified to discover that oh, the yeah, Lamb I of God this. has a nightmarishly human face. Yes, yes, yes. So you are, like, very up on the news. I feel... If you... I just... It didn't register with me. It's funny. It might just... Yeah. Well, I originally... It's a nightmare face. Originally, I had something like uh, Walking Sharks, Lamb of Ghent, Mr. Peanut, 
met his end or something like that. But I like Mr. Peanut now a ghost. And also I wanted to be able to say Lamb of God has nightmare face. Um, walking sharks? Oh my God. Walking sharks discovered in Australia. Do you know what a walking shark is? It's no. It's like a weird hybrid fish mammal. It's like a legit. So as advertised. Yeah. Yes, as advertised. Walking shark. Ugh. So they were discovered? They well, were in the news? Well, it was like, they're known. They're a known species. It's not like we've never met these walking sharks before. I've never seen this walking shark in my life. It's like, it's like a bunch of them have been discovered off the coast of Australia, which... I, I know what you're picturing because I pictured the same thing when I heard about walking sharks. Uh, street sharks. Yeah, the, just... the toys. The fighting sharks that wore pants. Cut off. I'll show you what they look like since we're here. It's just, it's not, like, they're very non-threatening looking in real life. A lot of these I don't know what this they are. This is a walking shark. Like, it's not, it's like a it's like a mean eel. Like it's not, you know. So it's not, doesn't walk. Well, it does walk. It walks in the water. I think it can walk outside water. It's an amphibious shark. I want to see sharks walking. Okay, yeah, amphibious shark. Um, yes. Yeah, there was a lot I didn't like. I don't know who Chris Collins and Katie Sowers are. Were they just speaking at the impeachment trial? No. Oh, the, so Chris Collins is was um, indicted on tax evasion. Chris Collins is the first establishment politician to ever endorse Donald Trump for president in 2015. Wow. He was a congressperson. Katie Sowers is the first woman to be on the coaching staff of a Super Bowl. And also the first queer person to be in the oh, wow. queer person to be on the coaching staff of the wow. Super Bowl. I don't know like so many of yours actually. Ancient I, Sweat Lodge. Oh, it was just uh, in Mexico City. Archaeologists discovered signs of an ancient sweat lodge. Oh, great! I love yeah. it. Great. Yeah. Anyway, not even gonna know. All right, let's write a verse. Okay. We have coronavirus outbreak. We have the fact that the World Health Organization hasn't yet declared it a national crisis. Uh, a, a, a international emergency. Oh, something. it hasn't. Because um, it's that's where another ongoing story where it's like day whatever, and that still hasn't happened. Oh, president's defense begins. President's, president's defense, defense begins. begins. <laughs> this is highly specific news, but Animal Shelter says world's worst cat is up for adoption. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, do you have any Friday news? I feel like there's we have a lot nothing. Of... Nothing happened on Friday. Nothing. I no. Doubt something that. happened on Friday. I highly doubt that. Oh no! Oh, a dog got stuck in a spare tire. <gasps> a moose got stuck in a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> that was the most Canadian escalation. <laughs> you think more things would rhyme? Hmm. Um, Bolton's, Bolton's book heck has allegations. Yes, yes, I was thinking allegations. Bolton's book has allegations is good. New Lunar New Year celebrations. Bolton's book has allegations. <laughs> Gone. Yeah. To me, that's like the only way to say that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. That's that's a, that's a, right. that's the show. That's the show. You want to do it? Yeah, I'll do it this time. Thanks. Grammys host Alicia Keys, cashless ban in NYC, Starbucks, Doomsday Clock, Baghdad Embassy is struck, White House team begins defense, guardsmen capture caravan, Motorola's folding phone, baby loves first ice cream cone, Lunar New Year celebrations, Bolton's book has allegations, Parnas vid, get rid, Des Moines endorses Warren bid, virus spreading to the states, World Health Org still hesitates, Kobe and Gianna gone, I can't take it anymore. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Okay. Uh, I loved when you said Des Moines endorses Warren Bid. <laughs> that was a key moment. Well, we're in New York. Yeah. Endorses. <laughs> Des Moines endorses. Okay. Yeah. All right. That was uh, week three of 2020. What, are we, what have we signed up for? Uh, uh, that was a slog. Yeah. That was a slog.